another beautiful day up at the allotment in the middle of November. Hello once again dear people and yes we are back up at the allotment and uh, today I've got a few things that I want to tackle um, which I'll get into in a minute but before I do I want to say a massive massive thank you to absolutely everybody um, that watched my last video to all the new subscribers to all the comments or the thumbs up everything it's been absolutely wonderful and the comments were just so so lovely and so kind um, yeah it took me back to be honest with you and uh, yeah just thank you thank you very very much so back up at the allotment today today is Friday and um, Friday the, the, the 17th of November I believe and a few comments um, about what to do with the garden and one of them is to put in uh, lay down some some cardboard which I do actually have some in the lot in the polytunnel so I'm gonna use I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna use that before I do that and start weeding the main job that I want to do today is the polytunnel because I got stung I hate staying in nettles with a passion and I got stung when I was zipping up the polytunnel on Wednesday and um, I was very careful undoing the polytunnel and then I came in drop sunk on the floor put my hand down wallet yes a bee in stinging nettle um, so I'm going to weed the polytunnel first get stinging nettles and everything out of here so this is a nice safe place to come and do what I gotta do keep dry and all that lot and keep warm and then we're gonna start weeding and laying down some cardboard so that is the plan today I also really really want to get to the work area the workstation that I was building last time uh, not in the last video but earlier in the year uh, where we got the compost bins and everything like that I want to see how that is all composted down over the over the year um, so that's gonna be very interesting as well um, because obviously being blind um, I'm gonna have to do it all by feel and also not making compost before um, this is gonna be very very interesting so please do stick around please do smash that subscribe it is free of charge and it'd be great to have you along for the journey uh, I've got a few other little announcements to make later on in the video so just make sure you stay tuned for that but for now what we're gonna do we'll have a little we'll have a little plot tour and then I'll show you the little sons of yeah uh, the stinging nettles and we'll get those up so uh, let's have a little plot tour shall we it's a beautiful day very cold though it's about seven degrees right so here we are in the polytunnel and that's the stinging nettle that got me yeah I cannot wait to put on my big gloves and rip him up um, but this is all needs tidying there's a few here as well look yeah see when I was up here last I thought they were like that was just grass I didn't realize it was stinging those um, but here somewhere is um, is some cardboard it's probably seen better days but it would do the job for now anyway um, so we get that down and we'll have a little scout and rummage around to see what else we can we can find and uh, get it all nice in here again let's make our way out and about there is somebody else here so I'll have to be careful um, and here's the allotment now ignore my bag and the tripod but that's the area that I cleared last time and down here and also I did a raised bed down there and um, yeah there is much to do obviously we were up here a lot earlier last time we were here it was, it was dark and then we we'll walk down the path into the second plot oh god that's a slippery piece of wood there um, so there's the work area up there which I really do need to clear because we've got a lot of weeds to go and I was thinking I made that wood bin last time which is I believe I put it next to the shed I can't see it you may do there should be a wood bin there which I can empty and just fill that up with weeds and let it and then cover it and let that compost down if one of those compost bins isn't ready to be used or condensed down into one or something I don't know but I'm going to try and use compost bins first if I can and then we've got all of this to do as well so a lot to be getting on with a lot of people have said cardboard um, strimmer and all of that and I do have a strimmer so I will try and come up and strim it all 
get it to a nice level and then maybe cover it and just let you know winter turn it i, I don't really want to dig I, I like the no dig concept um obviously we've been doing that already where's my foot gone <laughs> oh, crikey um we've already done the, 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 the no dig and i like it because where i was weeding that raised bed down there the other day the, the compost is still very fluffy and, and light which i like and i would like to do that over here so i'm going to try and do the no dig concept on this side um but yeah we'll have to wait and see but for now let's go and get those Stinging nails. Oh, I, I, do you know what? I, I struggle saying the word stinging nails just because I hate them so much. I just want to rip them up, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, if there's any stinging nails lovers out there, um, this may be the time to turn away. <laughs> with the stinging nettles oh where am i um <laughs> the battle with the stinging nettles is over for now and they got a few lucky punches in there i'm not gonna lie but i feel like i won the fight um, and there they all are there's probably one or two still in there that you can see that i haven't felt yet and i hope i don't but what i've decided to do is to leave it now it's comfortable in there but as you can see, there's some cardboard here that I have located, um, which I'm going to use today, hopefully. And also, I've got a couple of bags of compost there, which I could lay out, but I may have a job for them already. And it involves not being here at the allotment, but doing something very special with them. So I will try and bring you along on the journey with that one. Um, later on so my next plan is to find my way outside and i think oh sugar okay so a lot needs doing as you can see but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and clear an area where's the shed come on wayne where's it oh is that the shed? no Okay, anyway, I'm where I want to be. I want to clear this area here. Um, and then once I've cleared this area, then I can start trying to use it with all of the weeds. So clear this area. I can have a look, see what's going on up there. If I can use those compost bins, perfect. I know we filled them up last year, didn't we? So that, that should all be really nice compost. I'm, I'm hoping, if it is, I've actually made something which would be pretty awesome. Um, and also the bins over there, I don't know if you remember seeing, but in the black bins, um, they said to put weed in it and then fill it up with water, and then the weeds rot down, and you ended up with some really good high nutrient feed for your plants. So be interesting to see what happens in those bins. Um, so yeah, I think next job, clear this workstation area, so then we can start sorting all of all that out. Let's get to work, weenie boy. Dear people, I am back at the allotment. Uh, back at the allotment, what am I saying? I am exhausted. Um, yes, I am back in the polytunnel. Uh, after clearing the work area, I thought I needed a drink. Um, and I've just realised I've left it over there. Oh, I feel so good. I feel absolutely exhausted. Uh, there's definitely been some blood, sweat and tears in that one. Uh, to go with the stinging nettle massacre as well um 
but yeah I, that, that was a that was a big job that was a big job and I still haven't finished I think I've cleared it quite a bit but now I think what I might do is get a rake and kind of rake it and just try and clear up as much as I can with the rake um, it was a lot of grass a lot of bindweed and um, brambles I was gonna say thorny bushes then um, I'm sweating but it feels good to have got that done because I was think as I was doing it I was thinking to myself at least now I've got somewhere to come and put the weeds I haven't looked in the potty bin um, the compost bins I don't know what I'm saying I haven't looked in the compost bins yet I thought we could do that together and you can also see what I've done as well so I thought we'll go and have a look together and check it out it was quite funny though because as I was doing it I thought to myself it was so dense with grass and bush life and everything and I was like there's got to be wildlife in here somewhere surely and then as I thought that the person down there that's gardening turned on their hose pipe and it's it gives you that like hissy sound like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, like that and I'm not gonna lie I didn't jump but I did flinch think you know snake <laughs> but it wasn't it was just some lady hose pipe in her allotment but I did I was a bit like oh um God. Yeah, I would have made a good Indiana Jones, eh? So, you know, should we go over and have a look and um, check out the compost bins and see what I've done? So, I think we should go and do that now. What do you think? What do you think? Hello? Yes, you, I'm talking to you. What do you think? Oh, I've gone crazy. I've gone a bit crazy. Let's get over and have a look. Yep, yeah. okay. So, this is what I've cleared. And it's all here. Just chuck there because I don't know where else to put it to be honest with you. But let me stand back a bit so you can get a better picture. You're probably thinking to yourself, Wayne, you are definitely blind, my son, because you have missed loads. But I think I've cleared quite a bit. Please leave a comment below and let me know. But here we go. Here is the great. Oh gosh, um, <clears throat> reveal, compost bin, <laughs> right, compost, right, we have three compost bins, oh, I ain't got my gloves on, I don't want to be, oh, right, okay, this is the last compost bin, okay, so we've got one, two, three, okay, Let's see what we've got, Oh my gosh. Oh, people, we've got compost. That's a long way down. That was right up the top. There it is. We have compost. Very dry compost. That is very dry indeed. Very dusty compost in compost one. Still, it may serve a purpose. Compost bin two. Just in case there's any rats in there. Anybody home? Um, squeak. Um, oh, cracky. This one, with this one, I do know was filled up to the rafters with weeds and well, that hasn't broken over. It's a twig, but I tell you, oh, we've got compost. Yes, look at that. It's dry, but it's more. It's a bit more moist than the last one, but it has, look at that, it has composted down. It's a blooming great chunk of it there. Oh, look at this, people. That feels really nice. It's quite fine. I was going to say sandy, but it's definitely damper. Damper? I don't know if damper's a word. More moist. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. We have got two bins of compost to use in, I don't know, the spring maybe? Keep them in there, do you reckon, until the spring? Now, this one here, this one here's the one, because if you are new to the channel, this compost bin used to belong right down there in the far corner of our first allotment plot 
and we emptied it out and we brought it up here and we stuffed it with cardboard and weeds absolutely rammed it right so we got this big stone first hang on let me just try it <coughs> excuse me i'm still recovering haven't been too well lately but <sighs> i'm so excited have we got compost I think it'll be lifted with lid off, wing. And the answer is... Oh. Um, I would say yes, down the bottom, but not up the top yet. But if you remember correctly, this was like literally overflowing. I don't want to dig down too deep. Ah, there is compost. There is. I can feel it. Oh, I've actually made compost. But it's still... It's still rotting down. Yeah, I can feel compost there, but it's still rotting down. So I'm going to leave that. Question. Can I put new weeds and stuff on top? Or is it a case of just... See, if I had another bin, I would turn that. I would empty that so the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top. And I think that's probably the best thing to do. Um, or do I just put leaves on top of it? Do I put weeds on top of it and then the top becomes the middle and then we'll continue to rot down? I don't know, but I think I think the best thing for me to do would be to try and turn it some way. I just wonder if I can maybe mix these two up. Um, if I can maybe put these two together um, I don't know please leave a comment and let me know what to do and then I will do it and how important is it to do it like because I've got all of that to do um, so please do let me know and then we had our, our bins didn't we with the water which is around uh, Oh, I thought, oh, sugar. Well, I thought it was there. Um, there it is. Just being a bit of a chicken here. Ooh, look at that. I'm not putting my hand in it. I'm not putting my hand in that, but I will. I'm going to come back with my gloves and do that one. I don't want to get pinched, um, stung. But that is our compost. So we have compost in bin one and two, and a bit in bin three, but it hasn't thingy down there yet. It hasn't completely gone yet. So that's okay. That's okay. We still got the winter. Let me know what I should do, please. Um, yeah. All right, dear people, I've come outside in the allotment. As you can see it behind me, and it is, as you know, it's all overgrown. And I've worked really well, really hard. Well, I say I've worked really hard. Well, um, I've worked really hard, and I've had a great day. This isn't the end of the video. I'm going to carry on, but I do feel a little bit overwhelmed with it all. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start now. I need to pick a plant like pick somewhere and just crack on and, and do it but I don't know where where to go where to begin um, I'm gutted I'm gutted that it's it's so bad and things were what they were this year it's been really hard um, and uh, the allotments got to where it is but hard work is only the only thing that's going to bring this back do you know what I mean and uh, and I need to crack on with it really so, I think, talking it, thinking about it, I think I'm going to start with the raised beds, try and get the raised beds cleared, and then work this side, the allotment, the other allotment, next. I don't know if I'm even making any kind of sense, I'm probably blabbering on you, like, Wayne, just put your finger up, son, put yourself together, and get on with it. And I think that's probably the best thing I can do.
right, dear people. I am exhausted. Um, that is all the raised beds done. Um, there's still quite a bit. Well, I say there's quite a bit on there. I think it's like gra grass now, and I think the best way to get that the, the last little niggly bits is, is going to be to hoe it, which I'm I'm hoping and praying that Jen's going to come up and, and help with that. If she does, she does. If she doesn't, she doesn't. Um, she's got a lot going on at the moment, bless her. Um, so I'm hoping that Jen will be able to come up and help me hoe. If not, I'll do it. My next job is to rake down the path because I've got it all bundled and now I can just like roll it up into a bit and just make a mound somewhere and it will really look so much better. I'm I'm feeling great. I'm feeling absolutely brilliant. I've been stung countless times. I've there's an apple tree that's dropped a load of apples, they've all rotten and as I picked them up they're squishing and squeezing and spraying everywhere. And I've lost my sack of tears like Oh, I have no idea. No idea. I've been on my hands and knees looking everything. I can't find them anywhere. So we're going to have a little look again in a second, see if we can find them by stepping on them or something. You're coming with me, as you always do when I lose something, and we'll see. Um, but, quick question. Tips needed. You So, this is this is what I'm working with. My gardening gloves, they are sopping wet, covered in soil. I mean, I really like these gloves to be fair, but if they are falling apart and they're sopping wet. Um, any ideas of the best way to clean that? I don't think Jenna let me put them in the washing machine. <laughs> Unless she's out, and then I may do that. Um, tune in next time to Where Am I? To find me living in the shed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Any ideas about how to clean gardening gloves? Um, that would be great. Please help me. Um, if you're enjoying this video, <laughs> it's a bit of a crazy one. We've gone crazy. We've had a meltdown. It... If you're enjoying it, please do subscribe. It's free of charge. And join me on this a crazy journey. But right now, you and I are going hunting for some sacketeers. <sighs> It's the joys of being blind. You put something down and they're gone. Instantly gone. But I never seem to lose, like, my reading glasses. So, you know, which is what most people lose. Because I've got 1% of vision, which is about that. The tiniest little hole you can make and look through. That's what I see. Tiny, tiny amount. Um, and yeah, and I never lose my reading glasses, saying that I probably jinx that. Anyway, we're blabbling. We've got work to do. Let's get going. Yeah, look how much I've done. I feel, I feel, I feel a million dollars. It feels great. And I know there's bits that I've missed and everything. Um, I mean, look at that over there. And then look at this. Compared to what it was, it's much better. And the soil is really nice. Anyway. Let's go on a hunt for some sacketeers. Now, I know I didn't have them. Oh, where am I? Oh, okay. See, we've. Oh, yeah, see that? I found that. And I don't know what that is. Oh, I'll tell you what, that might be a potato bag. And it is. A potato bag. Right, so that is mine. I, I thought to myself, someone put the bag of junk in my allotment, which you couldn't really blame on. Right, now I know I didn't have them at this. On this one because I'd lost them just before. Sorry, I'll tell you what. So, if you're new to the channel, the paths have all got chippings on stone chippings. Um, and the reason I do that is so I can hear it and I can feel it so I know where I'm walking. And with all these weeds on it, I can't do that. Um, so, I have no idea where I am. So, I'm hoping that I'm going to step on them. That's, that's my thinking. Oh, actually, what we should do, right, this one here can be number one, two, three, and four, okay? So if you see them in, in any of those columns, so this is, that one there's number one, and not, I know they're not in there. 
This is number two. So we're coming down the side of number two. This is good. Interactive gardening with uh, the blind gardener. Get involved. Answers on a postcard or a comment will do. I'm trying to find them with my feet, but at the same time, I'm trying to feel where I'm walking. Oh god, I'm proper lost here. Right, there's a path there. They haven't fallen underneath there, have they? Right, so this is still number two. I've got sorted it all over my fingers now. What's that? Oh, that's a rock. Uh, this is number three. And I mean, let me just. Oh, I'm going into it. I'm walking into an edge. <laughs> it's like a game of hide and seek, isn't it? It's like a blimmin' needle in a haystack. Oh, hello. What's that? Biscuits. Um, I'm still on this bed here. See, I don't know if you can, can you hear that. So I can feel the chippings, and I can hear the chippings there. So I'm not feeling them anywhere. Oh no, this is the only one pair I've got as well. That's a Pain in the neck. So what's that? One, two, this one's number three. And then we've got number four here, which I know I didn't lose them. Mm, missed a bit there, sunshine. I mean, you're probably looking at this going, oh my gosh, Wayne, you have missed loads. But I don't think they're in there either. Oh. And the thing is, I want to rake all of it. I want to rake the path and all the way down. But if it it could be that it's just sat on top, and if I rake it, I'm just going to bundle it up. I think. I think we're going to have to put in a phone call to Jennifer and say, "Come and help me." She won't. She won't. She'll be like, "Oh well, you've lost them. They'll turn up." I don't know what that is either. Right, let's go and have a little... Ooh. Oh, I have no idea where I am. Okay, we've walked down to the bottom. Uh, we've got a fence here somewhere. Yeah. Okay, oh! Crikey, very good way. Let's have a good old look, shall we? Yeah, alright, I know the past looks really bad, but you can see them, the sheer volume of how much was there. Please do let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm having so much fun. It's so good to be back. And the, the messages that I got from everybody um, was, was absolutely wonderful. I mean, that... I haven't, I haven't been down here on this one. I've literally been at the top. Oh yeah, I forgot about the top. So I did the top earlier today, didn't I? That seems like such a long time ago. Um, so... I don't know if you can still see the black, the black stuff that we've put down, the black membrane, or if that's all had been grown on top and bedded in. I don't know. But this is the next big job, this side. Um, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, the the comments from everybody has been absolutely fan fantastic, phenomenal. Um, new subscribers, everything. So thank you so so much. And like the other one, I've got something big coming, really big coming. Um, I actually have a meeting on Monday, which is quite exciting about it, um, which I'm really excited about. I will try and record some of it to show you um, once I'm ready to release that announcement. But yeah, it's it's so cool. So, so cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to put a call in to the wife and um, see if you can find him. Right, dear people. Um... Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a bit, it might, this may be a long video. If it is, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Um, what was I gonna say? So I've raked down as much as I can do. 
Uh, before disaz, I can't even talk. <laughs> before disaz, the, oh. <laughs> before something really bad happened, uh, which is I broke my rake. How? I don't know, but yeah, is that it? I don't care. I don't care. It's been an absolutely wonderful day. Um, I've had so much fun up here. I've done so much. Um, I, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, please, please do let me know in the comments below what, what you think. And if you are new, please, please do subscribe. It is free of charge. There's a button somewhere that you have to click. Don't ask me where, because I have no idea. Because um, I can't see the screen. But um, anyhow, it's been, it's been absolutely wonderful. Um, it's been a great day. I feel like I've got so much done and really tackled a big part of it and I feel like this side of the plot um, has really come on, if you know what I mean. And then if I can get what I've done today on the other side, then it won't be too long before it um, is starting to look more like an allotment part plot and less like a field. Um, so yeah, I think the only way to do it is just keep chipping away at it, chipping away at it. I didn't get to lay the cardboard down, um, it's, it's getting in pretty dark now and I need to get home with the, the wife and kids. Um, so I am back up tomorrow, um, so you know, look out for that video coming very, very soon. Um, when I come up tomorrow, I'm going to probably lay the cardboard down and put, carry on with the weeding, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to rake in, get a rake in time. So that's the rake and again if anybody has any tips of how to um, sort these gloves out please do let me know because um, I like them um, and I don't really want to be spending more money just before Christmas on new gloves. I mean I am sweaty, it's horrible, I want to go home, have a nice cup of tea, have a nice shower and just chill out and relax. Um, it's been a great day. One thing I do want to say is to each and every one of you Please, if you have any disabilities or mental health or anything like that, do not fall victim to it. Own it, make it work for you. Because I'm telling you now, if I can come up here and not see what I'm doing and do what I've done, not in a big-headed way, um, but just if I can do it, then you can do it. So please, you know, crack on, get outside, enjoy the great outdoors because it is so much fun being out here. The smells, the sounds, the, the, the feel of it all, everything. It's just absolutely brilliant and I've absolutely loved it. Um, and I'm, I can't wait to get back up here tomorrow morning, and um, which is Saturday, today's Friday. Uh, this video will hopefully be out on Saturday, um, if it's not out tonight. Um, and yeah, I'll make another video on Saturday uh, tomorrow for you all. So um, yeah, please, like I said, please subscribe. Um, I've been overwhelmed with the amount of views, uh, wonderful comments, thumbs ups, um, new subscribers everything is it, this channel is really feels like it's taken off and um for, from me to you thank you so much for that because you know it's you guys that are making that happen so thank you very much uh but that's enough of me talking going crazy being upset blah 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 um what i'm going to say now is have a wonderful weekend and bye for now take care everyone p.s p.s everybody um if anybody has any tips of how i can grow the youtube channel and reach more people because it would be really cool to reach more people um, especially that, that maybe have disabilities or looking to get into it and feel, feel that maybe they can't um, but just to grow the, the um, channel in general sorry it's been a very long day uh, please do let me know because I'll be very interested in that I do kind of struggle with social media a little bit um, I'm not very good at it I can kind of use Facebook quite okay um, but the rest of it I, I struggle with. Um, so if anybody knows any way of sharing this um, on social media, then please do so. That would be a wonderful. And any ideas of how to grow the channel, uh, that would be, of course, fantastic as well. Anyway, like I said before, enjoy your weekend. And um, look out for the up and coming videos. Bye for now.